Today, I'm happy to announce the release of Update 166, which brings playable artillery onto the live build of the Alpha. The artillery release is part of Update 166, which is the largest update they have released in its entirety for the game to date. This video will include a full tutorial of the cannons and their use on the battlefield. These cannons have also been added to a vast majority of the maps and the field testing camps, meaning you can get your boots on the ground and try them out right now, although to be effective you really will need 4 players. They've also added the ability for cannon shots to ricochet, and with the new dynamic fuse system, rounds could bounce and stick into fences or walls before the fuse runs out, and then boom. There have also been new visual upgrades to various buildings, such as Harper's Ferry and John Brown's Fort. They've overhauled all of the forests available in the game with new tree trunk models, textures, as well as new high detail forest floor environment props, such as tree stumps, rocks and fallen over trees. They've updated the arms and hands models of all the characters, overhauled the stonewall pile model as it was really old. They've added a second animation variation of a musket rifle reload. They've been aware for some time that our original one wasn't entirely accurate to the manual of arms of the period, so now they've introduced a second one into the mix. They've also updated the sword melee movement animations, the revolver aim movement animations, they've added a new frock coat variant to both officers and privates. They've added bendable hat brims when entering the right shoulder shift stance. The tents now react to the wind and they've added an overtime breaker timer. As an infantryman, it's now only possible to spawn on the flag of your regiment, so this should remove the confusion that can happen when you spawn in on the flag bearer of a regiment that isn't yours. They've added a warning and an auto kick feature if a player is exploiting the respawn mechanic in order to cause harm to his team's morale. They've added a brick and concrete particle effect and wall dents for bullet impacts from small arms fire. They've also made the fouling of all rifles more accurate to represent how a particular weapon has been fired. This is still only a visual effect however. So what's coming in this title? Well, we know. Work is progressing nicely in relation to being able to bring you all one, if not the most well-known cannons of this time period complete with its own carriage, number 2, alongside its limbers and ordnance, 1857 smoothbore 12-pounder Napoleon bronze cannon. Now there are a plethora, a massive amount of updates here that this video would be extended way too long in order for, you, for me to be able to discuss these with you, so I will leave the update dev comments and the update files in a link in the description box if you want to jump over to Steam and have a look to make it a little bit easier for you. But in order to round off this video, let's have a look at a tutorial on how to use the cannons properly. And this has been approved by the developers, so we know this is correct. I could do a massive, massive video on this, but I know people's attention spans are short these days. So welcome to War of Rights. Welcome to the new 166 update. I hope you enjoy it. Let's have a look at the cannons. Right face. Forward, march. Come on, left foot's first, for Pete's sake. My God, the army knows only how to send ninnies and nincompoops to this unit. Oh, my God. Even if you guys don't know your left and rights, we'll at least teach you how to, uh, properly wield a gun on the battlefield, at least. Halt! Front! All right. This, my friends, is a three-inch ordnance rifle. This has a range of up to a mile and a half. That means that we can kill them before they can see us, which is quite the nice advantage on the battlefield. But for you lot, hopefully you might even be able to hit the broadside of a barn 
at three meters, let alone a mile and a half. So, gunners, to your posts. Corporal Bradley is going to be at position number three, to the left of the gun. Private Taylor, I want you at position number one, to the left of the muzzle of the gun. What? what? And Private Trusty, you're going to be at position number two, to the right of the muzzle. And you, little sweetheart, you're going to be at position number five, next to the caisson. Get over there! Oh my god. All right, this are some of your positions. With this, we're going to be able to actually make this gun fire off towards the enemy. So, you, I want you to go ahead and get me a round of shell shot, please, and bring it forward. Position number one. Sponge the gun, please. We gotta make sure that there isn't any leftover embers from any previous drills. Round forward. Position number two, ram the cartridge. Number five, that means you get the hell out of the way. Get back to your post. Lordy sakes alive. Did any of you read the manual on the way here? Of course you didn't. All right, Corporal Bradley, please sight the gun. Position number two, if you'll please come over here to the trail. To the trail of the gun. That big pointy thing in front of you. There it is. Go ahead, pick it up. It isn't going to bite you. Now trail left. Your other left. Remember, it's going to be opposite in this case. A little bit more to the left, good. Now drop it. All right, back to your position. Once you're sighted in, Corporal Bradley, prime the weapon. Good. Now clear the wheels, make sure we're not in the way, because this thing's going to really send off now. Fire! Good. You couldn't hurt, hit shit. Positions one and two. Let's bring this gun back forward. Sponge barrel. These canister rounds here will be able to hit a wide variety of targets at short ranges, much like a shotgun blast. But now we have a much larger shotgun.
shell shot. Round forward. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Come back here. What does that look like to you? Does that look like a shell shot? No, that looks like a canister shot. What do you think you're doing? Go back there and get me shell right now! Hop to it, Private! Private Jenkins, if I see you go in front of that barrel one more time, so help me. Right, that's it. Corporal Bradley, take this man back to the guard tent. Seems like he's been having a bit too much of the medicinal hooch. with CryEngine.